online and today we're going to talk about why you keep seeing angel numbers five 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 <laughs> What's going on, family? It's your man, Jeff Kilgore, back again. You already know how we do with business and mind all intertwined. And today, we're going to talk about why it is that you keep seeing the angel numbers 555 five, five, and what that means for you. You ready? Come on. Let's talk about it. Now, 555 five, five is maybe one of my favorites. This is probably one of my favorite ones because the numbers 555 five, five represents change. It's all about change. And to me personally, this is a personal preference or feeling of mine. Change is exciting for me. Um, even if it's not a favorable one, even if it's not something that I want it to happen, it's always exciting in some kind of way because it's different. And you're gonna see something that you've never saw before when it comes to change. And so the numbers 555 is all about change. So if you've been seeing the numbers 555, then more than likely uh, it's you're, you're currently going through a major significant change in your life or you're about to go through some kind of significant change in your life. Either way, get ready because it's, it's usually major. It's usually not just uh, something minor. It's usually something big. When I say big, I mean something that you've really been wanting or something that you've really been uh, thinking about happening and is usually positive, positive. So it could be you moving, getting ready to move or um, getting a new job or starting a new business or a new relationship is about to spark up something big, something major, usually um, enjoyable, usually something that you've been wanting. And this is the universe's way of telling you, I got you. It's about to happen. Get ready, be prepared. So either way, whether you're currently going through this change or you're about to go through this change, get ready and get excited because it's coming. Now, this is not something with the numbers 555. It's not something, that, especially if you're no, if you're noticing, and I'm, I'm not just saying, um, you saw it once or twice here and there. I'm saying that this is something that's been kind of getting at you, bothering you. You're seeing it everywhere. You're seeing it, you know, 555 on the clock. You're seeing it, you know, on TV. You're seeing it on social media. Every post has 555 likes and you're just seeing it everywhere. And it's like, at first you think, like, am I tripping? Like, am I, is this? But the more you see it and the more you realize, no, I'm not tripping there's something going on with this 555 if that's you then yes get excited and get prepared because like i said it's either you're going through it right now or you're about to go through it and it's usually something that you've been wanting or something you've been waiting on and something you've been wondering when is this going to happen or is this going to happen how is it going to happen what's what's going on with it get ready because that change is on its way now, the most important thing is number one, you being aware and prepared for this change. So this is the universe's way of, of letting you know, giving you a hint, giving you a heads up. Hey, it's about it's about to go down. And so you, the more aware you are, the more prepared you are, it's going to help in the situation because you you see it coming. You knew it was coming, but now, you know, OK, it's on the way. This is about to go down. This is about to happen. And so, number one, being aware and being prepared for this change. And number two, which is even more important, is how you respond to this change once it happens, once it starts to take place. You see this change happening and we can respond one or two ways, positively or negative. Now, a lot of us tend to respond negative to major change. As human, as, as human beings, we tend to get stuck in our ways and we get real comfortable. We're so used to things being the way that they are that we trick ourselves into believing that it's good, that it's a good thing. 
Yeah, I know it's not my dream. It's not where I, where I really want to be. It's not what I really want to be doing, but it's working. It's okay. I mean, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing all right. I'm doing fine. Right. And so we trick ourselves into thinking something is okay. And something is good when the reality is we really want to be doing what we really want to be doing. We really want to pursue our dreams. We really want to go after those things that we really want, but we've tricked ourselves into thinking that where we are right now, the status quo, it's okay. It's good enough. I'm making it. Everything's all right. It's not, you know, it could be worse. I mean, I could be, you know, down and out. And so we, we allow ourselves to get complacent and get uh, satisfied with where we are right now. And when change presents itself, we tend to react in a negative way. Oh no, don't, don't upset my little system I got going on. I'm doing okay. Everything's all right. We like on eggshells. We don't want nothing to go wrong. And change represents a new venture. Change represents upsetting the apple cart, so to speak. Change represents changing your little routine that you're so used to and so comfortable with. So how you respond to this change is the most important part of it because you have to embrace it. Now, that's easier said than done, but when you look at it from a different perspective, then it becomes easier to embrace change because if you look at it like, if I embrace this change, there's always good in, in something. Everything has a good side to it. No matter what it is, you can find some good in something. Now, in this situation, this change is probably a positive one anyway. It's probably something good for you, so it shouldn't be hard to find the good in it. It shouldn't be hard to find the good in whatever this change may be. So embrace it. Start to think about all the things that you want. Start to think about all the things that you would like to happen, that you would like to do, that you want to enter into your life. And then once you begin to think of those things, really feel how that's going to feel. How, how is it going to be when this thing enters into your life? How is it going to be when you're in this certain place or this certain person is in your life or you now have this certain occupation, whatever it may be? How is that going to feel? And then when you begin to feel that, then now you're activating, you're in tune with the universe. You're in tune with what God is trying to give to you. And so you're embracing that change. And once you embrace that change, this activates a whole new level of the change because fighting against it is not going to help because whether you like it or not, this change is happening. This is why you're seeing these numbers all over the place. It's going to happen. Now, how it turns out is up to you, whether you embrace it or not, or whether you fight against it and react negatively like we tend to do sometimes, it's going to determine how this turns out for you. The real blessing is on the other side of change. The real blessing is on the other side of that change. And so if you want to get to your real blessings, you're going to have to go through the change. If you if, if you didn't have to go through the change, then your blessings would already be on this side. The, the things, the, the benefits, the things that are going to be so beneficial to you because of this change that's getting ready to take place are on the other side of that change. And if they weren't, they would already be here, but they're not. You're going to have to go through this. You're going to have to embrace this change in order to get those benefits and get that blessing that you've been waiting on. So blessings on the other side of change. It's like, you know, they always say your blessings are on the other side of fear. Same thing. You, the reason that you're fighting this change is because there's a little fear involved. You don't want to upset what you've already got going on. So there's fear. What if I screw it up? What if I mess it up? What if it don't work out? What if it, what if this is not the right thing? And all these fearful thoughts in your head, but the real blessing is on the other side of that. When you attack it, when you do difficult things, when you go after that thing that's scaring you to death, but you know that you're not going to sleep well until you do. That's what is on the other side of change. When you embrace change, there's going to be a flood. 
It's going to be an abundance of things that come into your life that you weren't even prepared for. Things that you couldn't even imagine, but because you took that leap and you embraced that change, things are coming in left and right. And now you have a testimony that you're going to be able to help other people when they are faced with change in their life. Take this as a compliment from the universe. Take this as an approval from God that you're you're in the plans. Think about it. Think about this in the overall grand scheme, grand scheme, big picture of life, right? The overall picture of life. You have a position to play. You have a role to play. You're in the movie. You have a specific part and the universe. God is showing you these five, five, fives. This you should be excited because of that alone, because you're special enough that you're getting a signal, you're getting communication from God, you're getting communication from the universe so that you can play your specific role in this overall grand scheme of what we call life. Billions of people on earth, right? And you're getting signals from the universe. You're getting, you're getting signals from God. Billions of people on earth and you're getting specific signals for you. That alone should get you excited. Because like I said, you have a specific role. You're in the movie, you in the script. And your role is important. You can't complete a, a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle, without every little piece. Your piece is important. And so that's enough to be excited. So think of it as confirmation. Think of it as approval from God. You in the number, you're in that, you're in the movie. You, your role is solidified. Now embrace it and kill your role. Do your role to the best of your ability. I'm talking about make it count. Make your role count in this thing we call life. Leave your mark on this world. Leave your mark so that your puzzle piece or however, whatever, however metaphorically you want to look at it, your role, your puzzle piece will be remembered for years to come. Your grandkids will be like, man, grandma's puzzle piece, man. Grandpa's puzzle piece, man. He did that. You know what I mean? That's what we want to do. But only way we can do that is by embracing this change that's coming. And it's divinely guided directly from the universe, directly from God. It's divinely guided. So it's beneficial to you. This change is going to be beneficial to you so you can be confident in your next move. If you're contemplating, should I make this move? Should I take that major step? Should I take the jump? Should I take the leap? Should I, should I put myself out there? Should I go after it? The answer is yes. If you've been seeing 555 five, five like crazy, then your answer is yes. It's time to take that leap. It's time to take that jump. Time to make that move. Whatever it is that you've been contemplating, you've been this close to doing, now is the time to pull the trigger. Now's the time to do it. Push the button, pull the trigger, pull the lever, whatever metaphor you want to use, it's time now. And it's divinely guided, which is why you've been getting these signals, the 555, everywhere you look. It's confirmation that now is the time and be confident when you do it because you've, you're getting direct communication from a higher power that's letting you know it's time. This is what it's time to do and, and this is what we're gonna do so you can move confidently. And this is the first step. This is the next step rather in manifesting the life of your dreams. Everything that you've been wanting to manifest, this is the next step. So if you've been seeing 555, get very excited because your manifestation process is rolling right along. It's taking place. It's doing exactly what it should be doing. And you can move confidently in approaching your next step in whatever it is that you want to do because the universe is speaking to you. God is speaking to you and you're on your way, but be ready, be prepared, be aware because that change is definitely happening. Did you get any value out of that? I hope so. And if you did, you know how I say, squeeze that like button, like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff, especially subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can get all videos that I upload. I'm committed to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this year, so I don't miss a beat. And you don't miss a beat. We can both stay on track, right? If you still rocking with me at this point, you already know. 
Appreciate you. Let's go.